Hey guys, Tyrup here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on a stud shit. Playing today's morning in the south, we have Guard 2707 playing as Brits. And his loadout is Commandos, Tactical Support, and a Mobile Assault. Teaming up with him is Vic, playing as US Forces, who has Heavy Cavalry, Tactical Support, and Airborne. Yes, that's right, Tactical Support and Tactical Support. That's what happens when the uh, community names a commander. Basically, I've seen some in the north. We have Aldo Rain playing as OKW, straight away locking into Luftwaffe ground forces. For use. And then Hugo Stilglitz. Stilglitz. I think it's also there who has elite troops. Yeah, armor. And encirclement. In terms of ranks, uh, Vic, Vic and Card 2707 around rank 65. Auto Rain and uh, Hugh Siglitz around rank 130. Okay, so we're going to carry you here. Tommy's managed to finish the sandbags, but took quite a lot of damage in the process. There's a squad that was uh, camped out in the middle earlier. Meanwhile, riflemen charging forwards. Enemy causing trouble. Winning Try over those fox communities there, but we do have a sniper coming out for Hugo, so a little bit slow getting started. Carrier doing some good damage here to the Grenadiers. Tom is closing and he's going to have to uh, abandon this position shortly. Taking too many casualties. Looking away around the corner with the Pioneers, getting a bit of a flank going, but not going to amount to too much. And wow, I'm actually surprised he's bringing the sniper down here despite the Universal Carrier being right there. Try and assist. End up getting forced away there. Sniper opens up, forces away that squad. Oh boy, and uh, Poe's go down as they cross the road. We saw Carrier popped the uh, Vickers upgrade. Our capture point. Down the They're trying to take it. A blow early for Hugo. Now two zero soon on a rampage with this. Go for a chase down. Oh, but might have got too close. Faust coming through. Yeah, that's going to be the end. Oh my god, no, it's not. He's on a pixel of health. I thought that got him. Maybe with the small arms. Looks like Stern Pioneer's holding the line here, but about to get overwhelmed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> One bullet. Enough to finish the job. Now here we go, got a whole bunch of fox units coming across the other side. The teamwork here between these two. So, you know, Pio for a UC, that's actually a pretty good trade, I would say, for Hugo. Especially uh, after the munitions on the uh, upgrade on the Vickers. Ends up working out uh, pretty well for him. We've got a battle group going down for Aldo Rain. And uh, wow, Hugo a bit late starting to tick up here. It's a mistake. Let's see the uh, five man upgrade for guard 2707. I wonder if we're going to see a counter sniper, it is a fair option for the Brits. Sniper retreating. He's got to be careful. He's kind of backing himself into a corner here. She potentially couldn't retreat past to get home. This rifleman push running out of steam. See a uh, early ambulance for Vic going for the 50 cal. Two rifle into 50 cal build. 
This is lost a unit that I was unaware of. But more of a team game build. Leaves you a little bit lacking in units early on. That does allow you fast access to those tech units, of course. Sean capping on the far attack. flank. So I've uh, just constantly backpedaling and then got to see soon just instantly popping the retreat there. Might lose his model on the way home, but up to the sniper at least. Oh boy, forcing me again the trench open up. Uh, decent amount of damage, and yeah, we are going to see a sniper for guard 2707. Probably the easiest way of dealing with a sniper is your own sniper, but he's got to be careful when you're the Falschenjäger camouflage. Ready for orders. Doesn't accidentally run into them. He's running it into position here. Getting ready for a counter sniper opportunity. Sniper is nearby. Oh, double LMGs pop. Tommy's going to have their work cut out for them. 222 two, two coming around the corner as well. So, uh, yeah, he's actually pulling back with the sniper after seeing the 222. Just want that chasing him down and uh, killing him. Bit of a squad of engineers coming out looking for the snare. And it connects. And uh, maybe sniper gonna open up here on the Falschenjäger. And two mines about, it looks like. Doesn't look like he's gonna do it. In the meantime, these LMG Grenadiers doing some big damage. This squad about to drop a whole bunch of models ends up retreating. Got some base out to to stop them chasing any for the. Ooh! Briefly revealed as he made that crossing. Oh, this could be it. It's not. Oh, right, he, he turned, but he lost sight of it. And here comes a half track. Sniper trying around the corner, trying to avoid getting detected. Tent stuff. Wow, looks like this uh, squad getting suppressed by the 50. Now that's repositioning. I've got detected, but I don't think he noticed. I don't think Hugo noticed. Maybe he just noticed right then. After I kidding over in that direction. Oh, and he reveals it. The rear gunner not firing though. Doesn't quite have the angle. And the sniper went back into cover because it wasn't in combat. Nothing shot at it. So I was able to regather its cover. I noticed that happens to Falschenjäger as well. It's actually quite annoying. Not not oh boy. AT gun getting decrewed here. And now Flamer half track for Hugo. That's really bad news for Guard 2707. Kind of getting punished here for not going for the AEC. Oh man, but he tries to go for the salvage. He ended up losing a squad in the process. And quickly cut them down, and here comes the Stuart going to assist his teammate. Comes off these double light vehicles. Not up against the light vehicle on his own side, so it does make sense. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Are doing some really good damage. We have a pack that's quite far back. There. A Molotov? It's a incendiary grenade, must have been. I was like, did a squad with a flamethrower die over there? Oh, of course, it's an incendiary grenade. Okay, double light vehicles pushing through the center, backed up by the pack. Trying to get in position. Meanwhile, the British sniper still very deep into uh, 
Nexus territory looking for the counter snipe opportunity though the this is sniper nowhere near at the moment. Pulling all the way back for some reason. And we have a salt pot by God too soon. I see we've got the recon planes coming over. Guess he's hoping to reveal the sniper with those. Which I'm not sure if it works or not. I imagine it does though. Now might be able to get the kill. Oh, misses the killing blow. A little bit unlucky there. Double two two twos here. Stuart, a bit low, but he's gonna lose his 50 cal if he doesn't stay in here. Oshimega go for the steal. Oh, but these powers pop the LMGs, do quite a lot of damage. The squad trying to come around the corner, stop the steal. Smart comes in, buys the axis a little bit of time, and there we go, gets away with the 50 cal. So a couple of victories here early for the axis. Getting away with that green deer earlier as well, so they're in a decent position. Schwer going up for Aldo. Actually pretty close to a medium tank now. So they've so had a very strong fuel deployed. control so far. Rebuilding 50 cal as Vic. Looks like he's uh, got an M1 as well. Just a power drop that in. The flame a half track though, and away you go the squads from the south. Go for the kill on these stern pioneers though, might be able to get them. This is one more good hit from the main gun. Oh, and he gets it. There we go, stern pioneers down. The kitten not near enough. Let's punish for it. Do two switching sides, but. Too late. We could dodge in that grenade. And now the British sniper opening up knows that it's uh, kind of sniping days. Maybe over. Tries to get a couple of wipes in the meantime. This British base had to come down. Oh, really good connection. Grenades get forced away there. Sniper. Playing uh, very cautiously. Wow, he opens up on the center then immediately retreats. That's how scared he is at the moment with his sniper. Right, another assault coming in for guard 2707. Sprinting forwards here. And Cromwell coming in for guard 2707. Has a 4 4 Aldo Rain. We are losing the sector. Some few support guns have been doing some pretty good damage in the center. Three kills already. Ooh. Got a uh, shoe mine going down there from the vetted up half track. Nice to see. Also have a commander selection. It's going to be encirclement for. Hugo. I wonder if we're going to see some uh, close the pocket action this game, I can only hope. But Stormtrooper is also a very solid unit. Oh, Foxy Mega waiting here for the ambush. Be revealed though. Oh, and comes the Stuart, but straight away Rakit and getting the shot off. Grenade out. Oh, predictive grenade, but these guys stopped dead in their tracks. So it doesn't connect. Just doing some good damage here, but they are getting low now. It gets out of there just the right time. Well, what was that? Super late. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, no. Enough the 222s. He's got his AT gun decrewed here. This is risky stuff. Pack coming in. And it connects, and he's going to be able to steal a six pounder. Wow. Back the other side, Panther 4 also taking half its health before pulling away. Oh, oh, this is a tough retreat path. Could lose that. Guard 2707 getting off to a really tough start. Pulling in a glider. Where's it going to land? Looks like this time he's at. We'll make it back alive at the very least. But yeah, losing that 6 pounder, that was super costly. Before coming back in at half health. M1 is there, but not quite in range. And Commandos drops. Straight away getting chopped up by the 222 and end up just retreating immediately. So, yeah, the allies having it tough early on. Turning over two team weapons now, both the 50 cal. And at M1. And that's really what, not what you want to be facing down with your medium tank double AT guns. I can uh, counter you very effectively. Okay, going for a uh, machine gun here to back up the 50 cal. And Hugo gonna go for tier 3, a little bit surprising. Going straight tier four with his resources. Oof. Carnage. Before opening up, got some uh, smoke coming in as well, but the M1 doing some good damage. Two hits now. That's for us to pull back again. Oh, sniper in some trouble out of there. Cromwell wants to go for the kill on one of these 222s but the double AT guns are right there. Clears the arc, they reposition, pack up. Disappears into the fog, gets out of there. Got to see you know, making another push out. Ooh, big shot from the Stuart. Start getting range for another hit. Nexus is you here, a little bit down on the VPs, down to 300 to 381. Despite the uh, strong performance so far. Here we go, Panzer IV. With Hugo. Should give him uh, superiority on the battlefield. Two packs backed up with the Panzer IV. That should make it very tough for the Cromwell. Troop guard too soon, and soon gets his next tank. Which I think I'm guessing is going to be a Firefly. Commanders here in camouflage might be able to get a good ambush on the anti tank guns. There we go, they open up from camouflage. One AT gun down, good grenade. The other one getting low. But. Commandos run out of health, have to get out of there. Come on, opens up from the 222. Oh, and the Jackson comes over from the other side to assist. Come on, getting aggressive now. Before getting blocked. Sniper goes down in amongst this, but so is the Panzer IV. It ends up being uh, a little bit more even because that sniper death. Have to kill in position here to shut down those paratroopers. Nice to see Vic. There's a uh, tank trap here though to right from behind. Oh, got too serious. He does manage to recruit the six pounder there. So definitely came out ahead, and that's you know teamwork. 
bring the Jackson across to the other side made the difference in that battle. That was a good ambush as well from the commandos. Where's that infantry support gun at? Why isn't that blasting away? Slightly out of range, slightly too far back. In. Got more light vehicles in the north. Here comes the Jackson. We got the Rakit in there. So it's up. Doesn't get a shot off though. And here we go now. Infantry support gun opening up on the 50 in the middle. Get rid of it. I can't too soon to even think about doing another push onto the fuel, clearing out the S mines that are over there first. There's a patch around here somewhere still. Yeah, there. Yep, and he finishes them off. Now all the flags are gone. Oh, look at this ambush camouflage from Hugo. A lot of camouflage on both sides between the commandos and the Falschemjäger. Now the Green is getting in. And look at this, got a couple munitions caches going down for Hugo as well. Invested a lot of manpower into those. Probably uh, in the case that he does want to go for a closed pocket in this game. He's investing that heavily into the munitions right now. Good over your pants before heading to the south. It's a good trade there with Cromwell. But here comes the Firefly. Look at OP4 backed up by the pack. Tube rockets miss. Pack missing as well. Whatever you surging forwards here is a pretty big blob. Oh, 50 cal running right into it. Could lose it here. Oh no! It's gonna be close. Yeah, he does get the D crew. Big bundle grenade out there from the Falschemjäger as well, forcing away supporting infantry. And the 50's gonna get stolen. You have a mortar pit up here, getting some good hits in. Already get one after that. Got a uh, nice 50 cal steel there. Oh! Arrows looking for the white. Grenade in. Green is super low after that. Get out of there. Commandos once again getting a D crew here on one of these packs. Oh, and the flamer goes down. Exiting up. Good smoke shell out there. Green is sprint over to crew the other pack. We've got a Rakitten over here as well. A lot of anti tank guns, but they weren't in position. They might be in the position here to kill the Stuart. No, he misses his first shot. But here's that pulls back. But yeah, it does appear to be the weakness of the Axis so far. Their support weapon positioning hasn't been the strongest. Assault coming in for guard 2707. Oh no, that's the recon planes from Vic actually. A capture point is being overrun. I push in there, 50 cal covering the victory point. Smoke out from Aldo. But the uh, VP is neutralized. Oh, and he loses the squad there. Slight mistake. Right up to V2 after that. Texas infantry looking to come around the corner potentially. The mortar pit is there. It's got eyes on them. Opens up, gets some good damage in. Get two now on that. Trying to hold the line here, but he's flanked. Has to get out. 
Some major artillery though coming down, forcing a retreat there. Coming forwards on low health. Uh, the uh, tank destroyer is not too close. Mobilizing now. BP's very close at the moment. And that is a Scott coming in for Vic. Okay, so Allies investing a little bit more into the indirect fire. All packs coming forwards, but we're going to run into the British infantry here. Could lose this one now. Oh, kind of luckies. Sniping the models, carrying the guns, sniping the other ones instead. Let's see out. Oh, Stuart going in for a flank here. Okay, not quite in position to counter this. Or trying to counter this infantry push, but here comes the Firefly. It's a good connection there. Packs are all the way back. Whoa. I'm knocked out. Looks like a uh, Royal Engineers went down there. Base artillery trying to take down these munitions caches now. Pull back with both the packs. That's why going too soon soon allowed to get so aggressive here with the Cromwell. No to tank on the battlefield really at the moment. Whoa, 222 going in. This pops the breakthrough. And then comes close the pocket. This could be devastating. Oh, these units have to be careful. There we go, a lot of artillery coming down and loses. I think that was the Scott. Trying to get a recap here. And it does. I think we saw anything else die to that. Meanwhile, back the other way, we also have airborne assault coming in. Tank planes coming through. Oh, and trigger a friendly mine. Cromwell very low after that. And a lot of anti tank guns coming up behind this. Cromwell trying to back away. Could end up losing the mortar pit to this assault, however. We shall go down. Send your grenade onto the pit. Some commandos coming around for a bit of a flank. But this is just uh, blob too great. Oh no! Stuart goes down for the last pass. We've got the uh, Air Supremacy coming in now. Axis is a little bit slow to retreat. Commandos providing the site for this. Very slow to retreat. Ooh. Oh boy, could lose the Panzer IV. Does! Firefly comes in and finishes the job. Ooh, carnage. A very bad reaction to the Air Supremacy. I guess they didn't notice it. Look at that. Out of rain. <laughs> Lost <laughs> most of his units now. I'm gonna rebuild the Stern Pioneer so he can repair up his Panther. But yeah, lost his Panzer IV. Just a whole bunch of support weapons. And we're coming forwards. We're gonna clean up here. They're trying to set up, but Cromwell clears it, gets around the side. It's the D crew. But they did manage to take care of the mortar pit, so that's a good win. We are losing, Let's try and see what they lost. I don't think they lost anything. Maybe it was a. Well, for a week and crew running off the screen. Well, Cromwell getting aggressive here. Panther is there. And Kitten. Panther connects. Some fresh Panther for Hugo. 
He's chasing him for the kill. We've got the P47s coming down though. By Vic. Cromwell goes down, but Panther could be in trouble. Before he's even split their damage, Panther one shot from death. Jackson not chasing. Oh, the Rakim got decrewed over here though. I think I said, I think, I said Panther not chasing Jackson, not chasing the Panther. I think it's away. see a triple cap here they are a little bit behind in the victory points at this stage taking a look at army sizes though we can see they have pulled a uh, decent lead a 30 pop cap advantage now they're taking care of a few of these d crew team weapons as well so denying that easy comeback for the axis axis did lose so many team weapons during those last couple pushes no packs on the side of hugo anymore our kittens here for Aldo. Big losses. But the munitions caches did work out pretty well for them. They got off close to pocket airborne assault combo and it did a lot of damage. Right in. Pretty good dodge there from Vic. Still took a, a bunch of damage. Had to go back onto the negative cover there to dodge the grenades. It took a so much damage. Wish I could try to complete the cap, and there they do. And comes the Panther, but we got the Jackson right there. Oh boy, but he misses the first shot. So is the Panther though. Faust gonna connect here. No, he cancelled the Faust. Had it out, they had it in their arms, ready to fire, but cancelled it at the last second. few skirmishes on the side for the fuel. Oh boy! Panther P4 pushing forwards. And one in a nice spot here. Gives him good hits on the Jackson. I mean on the Panther. Ooh, almost losing the Vet 5 Falschenjäger. Rifleman want to finish the job. So is the Sherman. It's dodging well. Jackson coming back in. Connecting with the Panzer 4. This is where Aldo not having a kitten of his own really hurts him. Oh, he might get stolen here by Hugo. How did that happen? Not sure, but Axis back in control of two of the victory points. Fresh mortar put up from guard 2707 in the exact same position. Wow, you actually going for a uh, late mortar. No, he cancels that. Goes for a machine gun instead. And uh, here we go, Comet coming in. A bit beefier than the Cromwell. Got to fight a little bit more evenly against these Panthers. Use the point just before they neutralize there. Walk gun trying to target the mortar pit, it looks like. That's a comet, but the panther there. Quick retreat though from Hugo. So where's that uh, shoe mine up back there? Okay, Jackson and Sherman switching sides as well. So uh the paras. And the commandos, this looks like a big push on the right side by the allies. 222 scouts it out. Surviving though, just. Looking for the recur on the 50 cal there, but not paying attention in the middle. Gonna lose it. That was crewed by Falschimjäger as well. Very, very expensive. Here come. Uh, now those tanks. Oh, and they find the Jackson. Kitten coming in here. Oh, and we got a bazooka there as well. He's gone for the snare. Panther gets the main gun crit. We got the M1 back there. 
trying to get around the side of these anti-tank guns but this could be both the tanks dead for Aldo he's playing aggressively Trying to get rid of them, trying to decrew here, but he's just got no support. Here comes a fresh Panzer IV though. Main gun down on the Panzer IV. Panther one shot from death. P4 finishes off one of those tanks. And no, now with the. Oh man. Throwing good tanks after bad there potentially. Or in trouble but oh slight mistake here comet coming through the smoke a t-gun sets up and the panzer four penetrates gets the killing blow we uh we had a one third chance to penetrate there so, comes good but firefly coming in for the revenge kill and gets it. Panzer four going down. Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Grand Theft Sherman picks up the Sherman, and he's going for the kill on the Firefly. Firefly spinning around. Who's going to get the next shot off? Oh, during the death critical, he gets one more shot off with the stolen Sherman and takes down the Firefly. And that's uh, what can happen if you try to repair your tanks on the front line. Looks like he lost the vehicle crew. Had to retreat. And then uh, lost the tank. And after that, you can take a look at the army sizes. Pretty similar between the two now. The Allies took a whole bunch of losses. There's some two tanks there essentially, Sherman and the Firefly. Which uh, kind of even the game up again. And Aldo just going full Falschenjäger here. Just replacing his whole army of Falschenjägers. Still would be nice if we went for maybe one squad of Falschenjägers though, just for recruiting team weapons and the like. and you know, squad to throw forwards to go for the Faust as well. It doesn't cost so much to reinforce. No tactical advance there from the powers. Oh! oh where's bit 5 Falsh and get make it home. Nice getting a little bit low on the victory points though. 140, now 139 remaining. They are contesting two of them. Major about to get overrun here. Freshly repaired Panther coming in for Hugo. Could get the kill here with the Stormtroopers if he activates the tactical advance. He doesn't even need to, wow. Another spring the air ambush. Oh, and they're looking for the white. And they get it. Stormtroopers don't make it home. Nice ambush there from guard 2707. And then now we're going to munitions cache down for, from Vic. Obviously to try and stop another close the pocket maneuver but Hugo actually doesn't have anywhere near enough munitions for it. Going forwards. It's a shot from the Jackson. Meanwhile, the Falshi Mega Blob coming forwards. He's activated the Valiant Assault here. There's a big damage, forcing a lot of retreats. Arrows. Trying to come in, put some damage. Oh, it's a freshly built comet. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Blitzes out to safety. Oh, mortar pit lands, gets some really good damage, and he just retreats the whole blob. See, the late game control for Aldo Rain starting to suffer. Didn't need to retreat those other two Falsion Mega squads. 
Oh, this could be big. Red troopers spring an ambush here. But the uh, stormtroopers running right past. Now they turn around, grenade in. Machine gun just outright gets destroyed there. Must have had no weapon health remaining. Paratroopers don't get any more. There's too many units there. Anyway, dead EMG. Another good ambush from the allies. We do have the eyes on the victory points. Continually harassing them. Oh, Comet opening up on the six pounder. Of the decoy on it. Commander's there to assist and they do get it. Comet and Jackson a little bit low though. He's gonna, he's gonna go for the recrew. Didn't have an AT gun already, fair choice. And that's a uh, fresh Panzer IV for Aldo. A little bit surprising. Just about hit the fuel for a Panther. Given his control, the Panther is the safer choice at this stage. Another Scott from Vic. Also has the munitions for another P-47, so that might be activated during the next big engagement. Okay. Bit of an overextension there by the Vet 5 Falschenjäger. Oh, and he loses them this time. Yeah, I was going to say, that was a really late retreat. And this time, he doesn't make it home. Panther coming in for Hugo. The Panther has arrived from the fatherland. No, Vic never got weapon upgrades for his rifleman, by the way. Settled for weapon upgrades on the paratroopers and try and save munitions for the P-47. Gonna raid in, but decent dodge from guard 2797. Doesn't take too much. A munitions cast down for Hugh as well. I didn't notice that. Try to ramp back up towards his next close the pocket. Oh, tactical advance activated. And he gets the white because of it. Nicely done. Tactical assault, tactical advance, basically the same thing. Oh, Panther's coming in. Trying to. Uh, Take out the Comet, but there's a 17 pounder and a 6 pounder right there. Panthers managed to get out alive though. I don't speak too soon, P47 is coming. We're targeting the high health Panther though, so no kills and the Comet too low to chase. 20 pounder switching directions to the center. Oh no. Be super careful. Oh, that mortar pit getting in for some big damage. And uh, once again, we see a uh, 17 pounder catching the Axis off guard and making a big difference. Don't forget about them, folks. All really back up and healthy. Okay, these tanks back here waiting for the peers. Guys are draining off a little bit, just a little bit though. Oh, Comet, I'm gonna look for the kill on this low health grenadier. direction was that machine gun facing? I it was facing this one, but maybe the gunners got continually sniped there by the paratroopers. This is seemed to be slowing down quite a lot here in the late game. A lot of downtime for them while they repair their tanks up. 
is not very active for Thurston units. They come now though through the center. Comet doing some big damage. And the US forces paratroopers is too strong for the false Omega to fight head on. Nice white phosphorus there to force away the Raketan. Very close to death. Die here, no. Let me just make it home. Panther on a very, very far flank. Looks like he's going to try to gear up for some kind of assault on a 17 pounder. Jackson crossing back to Panzer 4 in the middle. Knows that the Raketan is away. Big push here from Hugo though. Panthers in the south. 17 pounders switching directions a little bit in anticipation. Might be hearing them through the fog. Mando spring the ambush. 17 pounder not quite in range. They're trying to get those stormtroopers but unable to. And uh, they did activate close the pocket here. like it's working okay pops the breakthrough now closer pocket duration doesn't have much longer to last and 17 pounders there I could get a low straight away just to get the D crew Panther gets out of there six pounder down Ooh, good tactical advance Panthers have to pull back, getting low. So somehow managing to uh, sneak their way up to the VPs again though. They are a bit low, it's down to 60, allies at 118. Raketan coming forward very aggressively here, but nice white phosphorus again, shutting down such a strong ability. Omega trying to cap the far VP but outnumbered and could lose a squad on retreat as well. Not a good idea going for that last bundle grenade. No, nope, makes it home just though. 17 pound of it up now. Accuracy and scatter apparently. Must be a rate of fire vit 3 so not super scary yet. Whoa, what is this? Both was going up, trying to cover the center. Interesting idea. Trying to lock out the victory point game that way. Stormtroopers coming forwards. Anyway, both was holding the line nicely here, showing down these grenades pushing in. Almost no reaction. Yeah, absolutely no reaction. Loses the squad. Pops breakthrough just a cap here. That's how desperate the Axis are. And we're coming forwards. Double Panthers right there. Oh, P4 on the far side, but snares. Jackson coming in for the kill. Rakitin is there in support this time, though. Jackson pulls back, takes the snare itself. Come the P-47s to dispense with the double panthers. Got assault activated as well by Guard 2707 to assist with his push. Five VPs left for the Axis. p still coming down. Do some more damage to the Panthers, they're backing up, trying to avoid engine damage from the Engineers. Far flank, Oh, looks like the Panzer IV goes down. The Jackson it looks like, oh maybe the Stone Raketan as well. Here's Supremacy coming in over here, Axis desperately trying to capture.
Panthers going in looking for the Comet kill. Running right into the clutches of the Soon Team Pounder though. One of them goes down. He's stalled at the moment, 11 left. They're probably going to be able to get the Comet kill here. Does, but the Jackson is there. Could activate the piercing shot. Whoops, on the 17 pounder as well. Doesn't even need to. Kid and Jackson finish the job. And uh, the VP is draining off now. Two remaining. And that will be the game. pretty interesting match this time the allies getting off to a bit of a slow start making a few mistakes early Having a pretty strong mid game for the Axis but overall I would see uh, Aldo Rain letting down the Axis team quite a lot this game is unit choices you know maybe going for Panzer Fours when he should have been going for Panthers especially with his control of them he does seem to have trouble keeping his tanks alive overall preservation not that strong but interesting combo you know the airborne assault combining with the closer pocket got them a lot of territory and some uh, decent trades throughout this match anyway guys i'll wrap on that if you like your game to be cast by me details are in the video description below otherwise i'll catch you off the next thrilling installment goodbye and good luck